welcome again to another Gap Chat. This is Reverend Jim McKenzie from First Congregational Church in Port Washington, Wisconsin. I've been thinking about something. I'm not sure you're going to find it to be greatly earth-shaking or perhaps something that you haven't heard before, but it is kind of where my mind is going today in the COVID-19 time, that time that we call the Gap and that's that the history of the church is full of examples where we have been challenged, mightily challenged over the centuries. And what we face today with COVID-19, I think is not that different than what Christians faced in the first century persecutions or even in the divisions through the great wars. And we will meet that challenge in our own time as well. The way in which I've been thinking about that today is that we will find our assistance to meet this moment in great measure through our life of prayer. And here's what I mean. Prayer is really our deepest yearnings, our cries for direction, purpose, and meaning. Prayer is our ongoing conversation with God and with ourselves. So I've been thinking, how might we pray in this COVID time of the gap? It's so easy, I think, to get caught up in how this crisis affects us, where I can go, what I, where I can't go, the masks that I have to wear, the sanitizers that I have to put on my hands, and just the, the changes that I need to make in my life. So I thought that the first way that I might want to pray is to pray, Lord, open my eyes to the needs of those around me. Not so focused on myself and how this affects me, but one thing I've been coming, becoming aware of is how greatly this COVID crisis affects everybody around me and not just me. So I would encourage us to open our eyes and find ways of taking initiative, not waiting for others to let us know that they have some need for finances or community or prayer in some way, but for us to reach out perhaps with phone calls, letters, cards, texts, emails, just been thinking about you, wondering how you are. I had a conversation with a woman this last week who, who said that she had recently gone back to work and what she had found is just a remarkable uh, sense of relief that she finally was making connections with others. Let's be on the lookout as praying people for the needs of others. Another way I think I'm gonna to want to pray is, Lord, open my eyes to the possibilities of how I might serve others. That's another take on my first point, but what I'm talking about is that, that sense that it is easy to get caught up in my own life and not see what others need. You know, we wear masks and we use sanitizer, we do the social distancing thing, we forego trips to the store and outings that we might normally take. And it's interesting to think about it, but that often many, if not most of these activities really have to do with keeping others safe, not just me. Lord, open my eyes to new ways of being and doing the church, of beginning to see church as something beyond the sanctuary, to be intentional about taking more responsibility for my growing in faith and my family's faith. You know, ministers aren't the only ones these days having to think about that faith community and, and how we continue to keep that, that edge sharp in our lives. If you have ideas that you think might assist our church, let me know. 
shoot me an email or a text and let me know what you've been experiencing or what you've been thinking. This time is the proverbial apple cart turned upside down where we don't do things the same old ways that we used to and we don't know if and when we'll ever get back to doing that. But one thing to be sure is that God created deep within us this great sense of creativity and an ability to, to think about the more than one ways of doing things, more than one way of, of being the church. Lord, open my eyes to new forms of spirituality, perhaps that I've never ever practiced before. You know, the COVID-19, if anything, makes us slow down. Oh, I know, some of us complain that we're working so much harder these days, but there is this sense that time has, has slowed, and maybe that's not such a bad thing. Maybe many of us need to step back, to take some time, and to do more reflecting and pondering in life than just busying ourselves with the way life does, does usually happen for us. Slowing down, there's a, a time in the early church uh, history, I think around the fifth century uh, AD when we had what were called the Desert Fathers and Desert Mothers. Monks, essentially, people with deep spirituality who would go out to the desert literally for years at a time and they would not speak to anyone. And what they would do is they would ponder and they would pray and they would seek God. We can do that too. We don't have to go out to the desert. It may just be going out on the back deck and sitting down like I'm doing right here. It may have to do with periods of silence, reading, meditating, praying. And I also was thinking of something else. New forms of spirituality might have to do um, giving secretly to others knowing that others have those needs, perhaps financially as well, and how wonderful to receive a check in the mail or a bag of groceries on the front steps and never know who it was from, just knowing that it's from someone's heart. Lord, open my ears. Help me to see prayer as something more than just talking. Help me to see prayer as listening, listening with that third ear, listening with that heart of someone yearning to be in connection with God. Help us, O oh Lord, to ponder and reflect on the important things of life and instead of just seeing prayer as something that we ask God for something in our lives. Lastly, I was thinking that, Lord, open my heart. Open my heart, O oh Lord, to the ways of your ways, the ways of God, the ways that I might not usually think of. They may be uncomfortable. They may be confusing. They may seem upside down, but Lord, you're the one doing the calling. So call me, Lord. Call me by speaking to my heart and help me to be attentive. Lord, help me to be attentive to the needs around me, to how I might serve others better, to new ways, perhaps exciting ways of doing and being the church, new forms of spirituality, Help me to open my ears and listen more than I talk. And always, oh God, help me to open my heart. Friends, that's just what I'm thinking about today. I jotted a few things down, came out here on the back porch just to share them with you and hope that you'll take them to heart and that you'll pray in these ways and, and you'll find yourself 
growing in unexpected ways right here in the gap. Lord, bless us in our journey to be blessings to others. Help us to open those parts of our souls, those parts of our experience to you that we may not have ever opened before. And help us, oh God, to become more kind, more caring, more compassionate, and more loving people because of it, whether in the gap or out. In your name we pray, O oh Lord. Amen. Thank you.